Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I went from this. Oh yeah, I'm highlights before. To this. Using the Santac HID kit. But before we get started, let me show you some progress that I've done in the garage. That shelf, it was located over there. I went ahead and I grabbed it. I put it over here on the side where I'm gonna need stuff. Um, these little carpets, I laid down. I had them over at the other place. So I figured I'd use them for here. I brought a little bit of items, but I still gotta get some more. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw you guys on a quick time lapse. And I'm gonna try to organize a little bit more of the garage and then we'll get straight into the video. So you guys can see it's daylight today's a whole different day i did get a lot of this stuff cleaned up in here i still got to bring more tools and more items that i have i still got to bring the civic the other civic over here um but let's get into this video let's do the unboxing and we'll go ahead and install these hids into the 2010 honda civic so let's get this package open and see what comes in here. This is a very simple install. Anybody could do this. All right, so we got our light bulbs with wires attached to them. Um, I chose the 5000K. That's supposed to be the same as OEM because of the fact that I don't want to get pulled over. Then we have our little boxes here. I'm not sure what these are called, but this is what's gonna give me the power. There's another one. We got some wiring. The wiring just plugs into here. There's two wires. Let me undo this real quick. All right, so there's there's two of them, one for each one of the boxes. So this just plugs into here, and then I'm guessing it goes into here, and then this will plug into the OEM factory plug, the pigtail. And then this end will plug into the light bulb itself. So it's very simple. We got some zip ties. 
and we got some double-sided like tape I guess to put on here so then you can stick it somewhere under the hood so I'm gonna go ahead and get started open my hood up pull my old light bulbs out and install these all right so my headlights are right there there's one of them right there and for this side i guess i gotta remove this and i might have to remove the battery to get into there because it's it is pretty tight let me tell you guys right now that it was a pain to get to this side just to remove the bulb i had to remove the little cover that goes right here and i had to remove the top part of the windshield uh fluid canister like the filler part of the neck but i got this bulb off and i'm gonna go ahead and drop the new one in so the first one is in i'm not really showing the process because it's not rocket science i'm pretty sure you guys could figure out how to pull that out and plug it back in but i went ahead and i got it installed and now I'm going to put that cover back on and I'm going to try to hide this somewhere in there, peel this off and just stick it where it be out of the way. So there it is. Both sides are installed. I went ahead and I put the box over here. And this side was pretty easy to get to. I pulled this and I pulled this out and it was like a two, three minute process. But this side is where I ran into the problem. And also because of the fact that it's hard to get your hand right here between these lines. But everything's in. And let's see what kind of a difference it makes. <laughs> 